think the best facilities are the ones that are, are really functional because it is a rugby environment, so you've got to be able to, whatever you're doing, whether it's SNC or rugby, um, we're all service providers to the rugby programme, so the players have got to feel comfortable in the environment. We've got a great owner who, who backs us and we're in a lucky position where if, if we need something feel that it's going to add benefit to the game or, or training, he's usually there to put it in place. We've got the first team, we've got the academy, uh, we've got the EPDG and sometimes the university come up and train here as well. So if you only have one pitch, obviously there's a lot of boots, a lot of, a lot of men running around. Um, so to have two world-class pitches is, is fantastic. Gym-wise, the lovely chapel behind us is, is the gym there. Upstairs we've got an uh, altitude chamber. When I first got here, um, the long barn was just a falling down barn essentially. They've, they've converted that now into uh, changing rooms with physio department attached to it, with a rehab centre attached to that. You don't have to change locations necessarily if you're on crutches. If I need to speak to somebody, I can speak to somebody quickly. I need to speak to the physio, uh, then I can go get them you know, within a minute. Having everything on site is it's a lot more efficient time-wise than train when we want. We can be outside when we want, be in the gym when we want. Um, but also conversations between coaches and players get done very quickly. But we used to have a camera on the, on the post, we've now got a crane at the, at, the, at the end of the pitch, so we can actually do a play and that crane's linked up to sort of a live, a live computer. We run over, have a look at the computer and we can actually see how we can improve. It's actually easier to recruit players if they come into the environment and they see what the facilities are like. There's a little bit of a wealth factor around all that, plus all the success, maybe previous success that you've had and then you talk about the legacy into what the future looks like. Sometimes the money is not the difference. Sometimes it's your working environment. How are you going to learn? How are you going to accelerate that learning and growth can be just as important as paying someone a little bit extra. I've always worked hard as in my role to make sure our facilities are right up to, to being top spec.